What's good guys? Thank you guys so much for passing 300 subscribers. Absolutely insane. Shout out to Vile, Magic Red, shout out to ZR Clan. Shout out to all these people. Subscribing, liking, commenting, showing love. You guys are making this channel grow, making this community larger. So I appreciate every single one of you all. But you know, sit back, enjoy this insane Striker 9 class setup. It's just absolutely insane. I dropped a quad DNA bomb. First time I think I've ever dropped a quad DNA bomb. Not gonna lie, I was getting shit on early in the game, but I made them all rage quit, and then boom, that's when the kill streaks started coming in. So if you guys are here, like, comment three times, and subscribe. Let's keep it growing, guys. For the new best striker nine class setup, you're gonna want to start out with the muzzle. You're gonna use the Zem 35 compensated flash hider because you're barely gonna be in the radar. You're gonna help a lot with the recoil, vertical, and horizontal, and fire and aim stability with this. For the underbarrel, you're going to want to use the XRK Edge BW4 handstop. This is going to help a ton with mobility and handling. See movement speed, aim walking speed, aim down sight speed, and sprint to fire speed, all while not harming the recoil control. For the ammunition, you're going to want to use the high grain rounds. Because since this is an EVS SMG, you're going to want to improve that damage range minimum and effective and the bullet velocity so you can kill people from medium range and outgun them. For the magazine, you can use either the 25, 40, or 50. Even the base 30, 25 might be too little. I do recommend the 40, but for this gameplay, I use a 50. And for the optic, this is one of my favorite optics in the game, the Niter Model 2023. I believe this was in Vanguard too, but just a clean overall optic, and I feel like it barely affects visual recoil. All right, let's see how far this Striker 9 class setup is. Honestly, this class really does beam, bro. Let's see, oh, where the fuck are you going? Damn, my aim is off right now. One kill right there. Two kills, mocked to them, man. Anybody there? Nope. All right, let me reload real quick. I think, yep, they spawned over here. Oh, fuck. I threw that shit kind of late. Damn, I don't think I have quick fix in this class. All right, let's see. What the fuck? I just want to see. Some of these spawns are just ass in this game. Oh, I got one. To oh, never mind. I might be Am I the only one playing OBJ in this game? All right, two. I got to get B flag. We have no flags. What is my team doing, bro? This is already a bad sign, bro. I might have to. Yep. I'm already just shitting on, bro. See, everyone thinks that we get into just bot lobbies, bro. Like, look, I'm dying, dying over and over. All right, let me get this guy. Oh, where the fuck are you? Oh, he tried to juke me. Nope. Get this guy. They get it. Four piece. Just like that. Easy. This striker knife class. It's just beaming, bro. Especially with this. I think it's called what? The Niter. Oh, shit. I might be dead here. The Niter sight. It's just so clean. I feel like it helps reduce visual recoil control a ton. And so far, I believe season four reloaded update came out today. So there's some fire additions that they added to the, you know, this update. What the hell is this guy doing? Yo, I'm getting shitted on, I'm not gonna lie. But they added Incline, it's a 6v6 map. It reminds me a lot of Gondola, if you guys know from Vanguarded, Vanguard. Honestly, I didn't really like the map. I'm not sure if it's the same map, I haven't played it yet. I'm gonna take a, take a look at it after this game. What the hell, oh, that guy's a bot. Caesar, you're a bot, bro. They also added Das Grow, so really not a new map. It's just a, I guess, bloody scary version of Das House. You know, at least they're adding new shit to the game, even though it's not really new shit. Just in, I guess, a modification. Keeps it from getting stale a bit, I guess. But I wouldn't consider it a new map. They also added Bit Bella. So Bit Bella is like a pixel version of classic favela. That's a, AKA Bit Bella. My opinion, this is not new content. Honestly, nobody asked for this. So I honestly really don't know why they added it it's stuff like this like who makes these decisions you know i think we would all agree that we would rather have a new weapon a new challenge calling card a crazy animated camo we'd rather have something else or even you know oh we complete this challenge for one hour weapon xp for bo6 you know i think we would all prefer to grind that out than have a new map like that like freaking like it's roblox bro like we can just play roblox all right, there's cluster mine right here. I'm firing it out right now. I'm kind of turning it up right now. Anybody over here? Spawns my flip. Oh, that's you, teammate. All right, let's see. And they also added Get Higher. It's like a new map full of obstacles, obstacles and surprises and stuff like that. Supposedly, there's new weapon camos that you can do too. If they're fire, I might do it. I'm not sure if you have to win it or get top three. Oh, I'm frying right now. Yo, damn, these people are moving. Do you see? I feel like I'm the only one playing objective in my team. I hate that shit because then it I had to force to play more aggressive and then that can get me off my my nuke street. Oh, let me get this guy beamed down. Anybody here? Beamed. Oh my god. The recoil control in this weapon is insane. I'm telling you guys, this is M35 Compensator. 
His muzzle is like the best one in the game. All right, I might have advanced UAV. I'm cycling through this. I'm gonna try to get my DNA bomb. Oh, I might be dead. Oh, I, I got it. This fucking go, bro. DNA bomb, easy kills, just like that. And then, so they added a new weapon, the Reclaimer, Reclaimer, Reclaimer 18 shotgun. So it, it looks like a Spaz 12. It's like semi-auto or pump action, but the pump action gives it a larger range and semi-auto increases the fire rate. So I guess you pick your poison, which one you want to do. I haven't tried it out. I have to still unlock it. So then I'll see which one's fire. I'll definitely make a video on that for and give you guys the best class title for that. You already know. I've been pretty consistent with the daily uploads too. So, you know, and I want to thank you guys all for, you know, we're so, we passed 300 subscribers. That's actually insane. You know, I want to thank everybody, ZR Clan. I want to thank Vile, people from Dominant Gaming. You guys definitely helping a lot with the supporting, the liking, the commenting, giving me ideas, playing with me. So, you know, thank you guys. Appreciate all you guys. Shout out to Magic Red. I think you changed your YouTube name. I am going to create a Discord soon where I can play with you guys. It's coming soon after you get all of that. Damn, I'm frying right now. Holy shit. They just spawned in front of me. Look, another guy right here beaming him. Oh, see, if I had quick fix, I can play a little bit more aggressive. I don't know why I didn't put it. All right, get this guy. Someone's in this. Here, let me throw this. Eat that. Come back, come back. He's gonna die. Yep. You, you see this shit? Yo, I'm frying it. I might be able to get another DNA bomb soon. Yep. And spawn right behind me. Yep. Reload real quick. But yeah, they added also the sledgehammer. It's like a melee weapon. I could have been sure that they added this already. Wasn't it in Modern Warfare 2, bro? A DNA bomb, second one. It's, it's just too easy, bro. And shim it. See, I think all the sweats backed out once I started getting streaks. Oh, I'm dead. I don't care. I got my DNA bomb. I can cycle through another one. Let's see if we can go for a third. We got a shit ton of time right here. But yeah, I would have swear that the sledgehammer was in Modern Warfare 2 as a melee weapon. So I don't know what's going on there. And you have to unlock it part of what the week five challenge is. So I'm definitely gonna do that. Am I gonna get the master camera on that? Um, hell no, I'm not doing that. Personally, like, melee weapons, like, I don't even use melee weapons. Not even the knife or the Karan bit. I always rock a pistol, bro. I'd rather have something I can shoot versus something I can melee. Okay, someone spawned right here. Why the fuck did he spawn right here, bro? I see, look at that same dude, bro. I kind of feel bad, bro. He's gonna shit it on right now. Yep, he's fragging out right now. Alright. And they also talked about like new aftermarket parts coming out yeah eat this bro yo i'm just like kind of like recycling these people right now they're kind of getting spawn trapped in this little corner here i'm stunned i gotta call my advance yep call this shit in oh hit fire hit fire on point right there there's a guy right there let me throw a plus mine just in case see i'm telling you guys plus mine is helping a ton it's kidding those people. it's helping a ton with objective game game modes like because it kills them guaranteed two three unless they throw a grenade or something yeah, you always got a pre-fire. Oh god, I might be dead right here. What the fuck? Did, he, did I kill him? I don't even know. Yeah, they ask, they're also adding the Jack Volk, I believe it's called. It's like a new modification for the KB inhibitor and KVD enforcer. And of course, another DNA bomb. The third one in the fucking game, bro. If, if that doesn't deserve a like, I don't know. But if you're watching this live, if you're watching this video, like, comment, subscribe. I deserve that, bro. After getting three DNA bombs and playing OBJ in this game mode where my teammates aren't doing shit, this is worth it, bro. But yeah, the Jack Volk is pretty much gonna make it fire a two round burst versus a one shot, like the KVD Enforcer. I believe is the, what, Marksman Rifle and the Inhibitor is a Sniper. So it's gonna make it shoot two round burst at minimal MOA dispersion. I think MOA is pretty much like, pretty much it's gonna be hard at any recoil but it's gonna make every trigger pull count there might be a larger delay so if you miss it you might be chalked you might have to make sure you land your shots but i wonder how it's gonna work if it's gonna work like a sniper should we treat it as like a almost like the dmr should we treat it as like an all like a burst weapon m16 oh what is this guy this guy i think he had movement bro and they're also adding the jack gunslinger it's pretty much like a conversion kit for the basilic from mono warfare 2 so it's gonna increase the rate of fire and it's gonna have almost an instant trigger action fire. So honestly, this might be meta as a secondary. I already know we have snake shots for the tire, tur, TYR weapon right now. It's okay, it's actually one shot. You can make it to a sniper. It's actually a decent weapon. Uh, I prefer like automatic weapons in case I miss my shot. But they're adding that for the basilic. So, oh, basilisk, I guess is how you call it. But I'm definitely gonna unlock that. I always like 
secondaries. Secondaries are like the first thing I get mastery camos on, unlock challenges with. It's just mad fun to use. So they also added, I'm looking at a chart in the background. Let me get this guy up. Oh shit. Okay, let me get this guy right here. You know, let me reload. Oh my god, they just spawned right in front of me. Throw my cluster mine in a second. Let me reload. Fucking reload this shit, bro. Oh, easy kill. See, yo, that for some reason I feel like they've been spawning a lot more right in front of me lately. Another guy right here. They're so focused on my helo too. That's why I love the freaking helo. Cause they're so focused on shooting it down. Whoa, that dude just spawned in front of me. Another DNA bomb, bro. Come on, that's four DNA bombs in the freaking game with this striker nine. And I'm telling you guys, this striker nine. I'm dead. Okay, it doesn't matter. Let's see if we can go for the fifth. We have enough time for the fifth. We had to add a new modes. Oh shit. Two, three. Where is this guy at? Four. Oh my god, there's everybody over here, bro. Look at this guy. What the hell was he shooting at his body? I don't even have an EMP. We had to have like a headshots only mode I saw. Um, they're gonna be adding like a whole shit ton of new events. New events is whatever, bro. I like honestly like the XP events. It just makes it easy. You just pretty much play and, un and unlock shit. So that makes it fun. And the thing I'm most excited for is they're freaking adding Grand Mastery Calling Cards and emblem Emblems. I'm super excited for that because everybody who went for Grand Mastery deserves something more, bro. I got Grand Mastery for all four challenges for Model for two, Model for three zombies and multiplayer, Model for two zombies and multiplayer. So I want to get those color cards to just flex it, to be honest, bro. And, um, just so everyone can see that how much effort. I look like a sweat, like I need to touch grass if I do, but that's what keeps me going, these unlock challenges and camo challenges and mastery challenges. So it's going to be nice having that because I've been only rocking the model for two ones ever since this game came out. Just to show people like, damn, this guy, you know, it's just a clout thing, honestly. Nobody even cares about it. Let me shoot on this guy. Let me shoot on this guy. Three piece, four piece? No, ran out of that bullets right there. And then they nerfed the horse to almost a ground and multiplayer. So they, I know they buffed the Simulator aftermarket kit. Oh, let's go, that's GG's. So we'll see how that is. I might make another video. Anybody talking shit? No. But other than that, guys, GG's. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video. Stick around for the next one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.